We're talking to the ambassador to the United States from the great state of Nigeria. And of course, he's given us some information not only about himself, but also about uh, Good Luck Jonathan, the president of uh, Nigeria, as well as some of the challenges and some of the successes. And of course, doctor, let's see if we can simply pick up uh, where you left off dealing with uh, the uh, president and then to move into uh, what you consider to be some of the challenges and the mission that deals with your mission, economic challenges, uh, trade, and et cetera. Well, like I was saying, uh, Dr. Goodlaw Jonathan seems to be uh, the, the most qualified person ever to rule Nigeria. He, like, he is an academic, he has a PhD in biology, mm -hmm. and having through uh, circumstances and faith, mm -hmm. he has served in government positions mm -hmm. <coughs> that seem to have prepared him adequately for this job. Uh, Deputy Governor, Governor, Vice President, President. He learned the ropes. Mm -hmm. And he's kind of focused. He's responsive, responsible. He was able to organize a very credible election. We kind of restored Nigeria's image in the international community. And after that election, he embarked on a transformation agenda designed to improve living standards of the people, designed to restore, remove some of the fundamental weaknesses in our body politics, in our economy, and our society. He, 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 his transformation, economic transformation agenda focuses on in, uh, giving, uh, creating jobs so that the restless youths will be able to, to fit into either the agriculture or the oil industry or any other industry and be able to raise living standards. And in doing that, he's been very, very selective, very, very careful. His choice of ministers in the key economic ministries were dictated not by political considerations, but by personal qualification. Mm -hmm. So the key minister of finance, power, trade and investment, agriculture, uh, oil, um, petroleum, and aviation. He has uh, uh, appointed people mm -hmm. who have considerable level considerable level of professional competence mm -hmm. and high personal integrity. Mm -hmm. And these are the people who form what we call the core of the um, core of his economic management team, mm -hmm. along with the central bank, uh, central bank governor, mm -hmm. who Forbes described just two days ago as the person, Africa person of the year. Mm -hmm. These are the people who are, who are facing the economic transformation policy of the good of Jonathan, designed to improve quality of life and living standards of our people. Mm -hmm. And what, what they're trying to do is to ensure that the economy is, re is reorganized, mm -hmm. is restructured. Mm -hmm. And the first part of the major problem is that we are an oil producing nation, mm -hmm. but we have all kinds of other resources. Mm -hmm. And if we, we, are, we are a major, ma uh, major agricultural country. Once we discovered oil, mm -hmm. what, what one of the objectives is to, why we want um, diminishing the importance of oil, mm -hmm. we want to use the resources of oil mm -hmm to develop other sectors of our economy, mm -hmm. like agriculture, mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, the, the cotton industry, mm -hmm. cotton industry, like non-oil uh, uh, non minerals, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that we can have a balanced and diversified economy. Right now, I think 95% of, of, mm -hmm. of, of our national income is derived from oil. Mm -hmm. That position is so accessible mm -hmm. and it's not sustainable for a long period. Mm -hmm. So the, what the government is trying to do is to develop non all sectors of the economy, mm -hmm. especially agriculture, mm -hmm. so that we can feed ourselves, mm -hmm. we can we can develop the agro agro industry, mm -hmm. we can we can develop agro business, mm -hmm. feed ourselves, feed other country, mm -hmm. country of other countries of Africa and the world, mm -hmm. and have a very balanced mm -hmm. economy. That's what the, the, the Gunatan is doing. Mm -hmm. Also, we the international community accused of, of fairly low of corruption, whatever they want to do, mm -hmm. and it takes two to be corrupt anyway. Mm -hmm. Most of these people, this case of corruption, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes quite a number of them are instigated mm -hmm. by people, uh, by uh, foreign partners mm -hmm. who, who believe that they could use some piece of money. Mm -hmm. It takes two to tango. Mm -hmm. But the president, Guru Jorata, is determined to treat that canker one of corruption mm -hmm. and control it, combat it, so that Nigeria be a free society. We are creating uh, an environment conducive to trade, to meaningful mm -hmm. trade. Mm -hmm. We have, um, we, for instance, there's a one-stop shop in, in, in Abuja. Mm -hmm. We have anybody wanting to establish business in Nigeria mm -hmm. can be told all that he needs to do to establish mm -hmm. business. We, and we, we are creating conditions for foreign direct investment. Mm -hmm. our, own, our own economic transformation program mm -hmm. is predicated on uh, substantial contribution 
first uh, from the private sector. Mm -hmm. It is private. It must be private sector driven, mm -hmm. and we also want foreign private investment. Mm -hmm. So all our missions have been mandated mm -hmm. to do what they can to attract foreign investment mm -hmm. to our country. Mm -hmm. And in the process of doing that, the government has created the machinery necessary mm -hmm. to be able to uh, entertain this foreign private investment, creating conditions that will enable them to develop, to, to contribute, their, bring their investment to Nigeria, mm -hmm. and be able to uh, create the conditions that will make uh, in investors finding it easy to be able to, to uh, invest in the economy. Uh, with, for instance, uh, there have been so much, many new laws. Mm -hmm. uh, our own, uh, for instance, our um, stock exchange mm -hmm. have been reorganized. Mm -hmm. Our um, banking system have been reorganized. Mm -hmm. And we, we have, and there are laws by which, for instance, anybody who makes uh, any foreign investor is allowed to carry his entire profit back to his country. Mm -hmm. And we do, we do, we, we do so, many, so many things just to attract foreign private, mm -hmm. direct foreign private investors to Nigeria. As I'm talking now, I'm expecting a delegation of Nigerian businessmen okay. in the next two weeks for, for an event in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. where, which is center on power generation. Mm -hmm. And we are, we are using, we are, we are, we are co collaborating with American institutions. Mm -hmm. Three weeks ago, US Exim Bank president mm -hmm. and three of his vice president visited Nigeria. And what were they doing there? Mm -hmm. To sit with the economic management team, mm -hmm. to give, to discuss with them areas of cooperation, mm -hmm. either in the power or agri or infrastructure development, mm -hmm. and, and give us facilities by which uh, private sectors mm -hmm. can contribute to our to, to our economy, mm -hmm. either in power or agri or, mm -hmm. or infrastructure. And so this whole economic transformation that the president has uh, mm -hmm. undertaken is designed in a real sense to bring Nigeria's economy into uh, the uh, 21st century. Uh, and, 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 and you find that it's been quite successful in a real sense as we end, get ready for this uh, second commercial break. Uh, we'll yes. have 10 minutes after this, but you find that to be uh, very, very instrumental in terms of uh, how uh, the world is seeing Nigeria now is it, at this particular point. And of course, uh, what we will do, uh, doctor, is to uh, take this uh, second commercial break and then we'll come back and we'll have 10 minutes uh, to allow you to uh, talk about some other trade and uh, economic developments as well as any other ideas that you'd like to uh, talk at, about at this particular point. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. <laughs> 